he's adding the flood mitigation measures that um, were approved in the storm mitigation loan program. He should be ready to go to bid in January. You should, you know, I mean, I mean, the project should be done by July. It's a quick. It's a lot of money, but it's quick. And this whole thing is the, the primary work that's going to be done there is the air scouring? Yes. It, it'll be the uh, half the filters, or nine, nine out of the 15, 16 filters, already have the air scour grids inside the filters. Mm -hmm. The front eight weren't designed that way. They're going to have the, the, the grids put in, and then the exterior piping and blowers, blower will be installed, as well as the controls to operate that. And then all the filters will get new media. And we made the case with the health department that we want dual media, anthracite and, and sand. Mm -hmm. um, so new piping also for those seven. For the seven, yes, the new underdrains. Mm -hmm. we'll the 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 yeah. That's really the driver in all this. We'll, we'll, and we'll, we'll have that maldistribution of the, 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 under, the backwash. Are so. you using them anywhere? Are, are any in use yet? Scouting? Well, oh, yeah. sure. And is it working well? Yeah. It's like a new technology. They came up with it in the oh, 70s. Yeah. In the 70s. Oh, yeah, in the 70s. I just remember, I remember those pictures. And I remember seeing that. And our friends said, you know, we didn't need the scowls. And then the others said, in the same company, remember? Well, they enhance it. You don't technically need them, but you'll get a, you'll get a longer filter run. Mm -hmm. And you'll get um, a longer okay. life out of your media. It's just another tool to have. But in our case, it would be... opened them up? Open up the filters and see. I mean, I was looking at the pictures the way they used to be. Yeah. Is it better? No. I mean, with the scour. No. No, we don't have the scours in there. We don't have the scours. No. no. Just we have the grid, but we don't have the extra. We can't, I mean, we can't, unless somebody stands up there and goes, yeah. we're not blowing any air through without the blower. I just want to say that. No, we don't. No, they're, 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 um, they're pretty rough. It, it keeps me awake. Uh, so those other, those front seven, or those other seven. Are pretty old. Now. Yeah, they're you know time flies when you're fighting that same battle. Um, yeah, they went online in like 1998. Yeah. It's it's a it's a long time now. Yeah. You know, Is time. it that long? Yeah. 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 The second one's going. And, and I and, and in that process, I learned what it means when they say don't make a federal case out of it. And the second one's went in. Uh, 2004. So 2004, 2004. No, before, you know, before we, we, went, we went forward, yeah, 2004, yeah. 2005, something like that. Because that's how we made the determination yeah. that the yeah. new design was worked, and worked we, better uh, than the And we used 7 as a guinea pig. We took that one apart and did that in-house. I'd love to see what it looks like after you do the scours. So pictures, are they going to be able to take pictures? That's the channel. Yeah, I'll stick my hand. Big plastic channel on it. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to the scours. I can that stuff at night. I mean, believe me, I can see that thing. Yeah. I'm sure you can with, with some of the, the new optics and that. I'm sure we can. Because you can't really backwash with the hatch open because the water runs out. No, but after the strain, you can look at it and see what, how the sand looks. Oh, absolutely. You, you can actually picture do of the inside of your heart. Oh, sure. sure. You can take a exactly. picture of the inside exactly. of the water filter. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that, that's in. in so <coughs> Finish the final application for the SMLP and all the requirements. And I haven't heard back from them, but you actually submitted the application, so you'd be hearing from from them. And I've, I've called and made sure that they got them, and they did. Yeah. I emailed everything to five different people. Yes. Yeah. And, and I heard back. Go through the health department, or those are just the I, I, Health is one. EFC. Yeah. I had five different emails to send yeah. all the materials to. Different people are doing different aspects. Brock is doing the engineering reports. We sent those to him. Um, who else? I've been in touch with the folks at SHPO um, because they have to sign off on this. Uh, not going to be an issue because we're not really digging. We're not all within the building. Um, you have to submit everything to them uh, by snail mail. However, they're going to respond to electronically. So they're in the process of updating their, their system. So the next time we do this, I'm sure we'll be all work on it. She can make a plan if she can. And we can the super process for that. So we should be okay. Anything else on it? No. Not at all. Everything's fine. Request from Tech City to supply one building with water from the town of Wall Street. You got your
I got that letter from Greg. I'm going to tell you, I don't think we should do it. My recommendation is that we don't, and my reasoning is that I don't want to disadvantage them from renting a space. They have a warehouse out there that has no, it's, it's off, it's segregated from the, where they have water. There's no water in this warehouse. It's off on the edge of the property. Very close to the town of Ulster, Maine. And I talked to the supervisor and so I'm kind of sensitive. I don't want to, I don't want to, we have the exclusive right and the obligation to sell water out there. I don't want to start picking buildings off. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that would be in anybody's best interest. However, I, I don't want to say, well, tough, you, you know, you, you're going to rent the space for you know, whatever you're going to rent it for and you got to spend four times that to run a water line to it. So I've had a conversation with the town and, and um, they're at least verbally, our conversation was they're agreeable to allowing them to hook up to their mains. They'd, we'd still retain them as a customer, we'd still build them, and we would just adjust, uh, that would come out of the 700,000 that we were, are selling to the town. Um, Bill kind of ran something for me, uh, kind of a, uh, some ideas about a resolution. I'll formally present that to the town, and in the meeting, if, that, if that's agreeable to everybody, and then I will uh, tell Tech City that, um, you know, this is, we're working on it, but they're not going to get an answer right now. And, and you're not talking, you're talking, you know, an office space. They're, they're talking about converting this building into office space. So we're not talking a lot of water. We're talking. Are they talking Six about selling rooms. that building to? At least in I don't, I don't believe he's talking about selling it, but. Um, well, there's a subdivision of this building. Yeah, they they actually may be trying trying to sell. It. Yeah. They may. Be. In which case, it would it really wouldn't change anything for all, from still our was, perspective. Still with an hour. Yeah. The area that we serve. Right. 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 Well, I, I'm not for changing our contract. Text. We, no, I. No. Judy and I talked about that, and we don't want. That's one of the things that Judy's saying. We don't want to chip away at that contract. Yeah, I don't. I don't Setting a precedent here. Yeah, right? yeah we, you know, well, then all of a sudden come back in with something else and well, before say, well, we did it uh, two years ago. Yeah. Right. So this, yeah. Is, this is what we kind of came up with the compromise, and I think it's right. acceptable to them. If we would retain them as a customer, but what we would do is we would permit them to draw their water off that main. Town of Ulster. The town of Ulster main. Because we give permission to take it off the town of Ulster main. Coming from the town of Ulster main. Then we reduce it. I'm not going to amend the contract. Utilities do this all, you know, Monroe County Water Authority, Onondaga County Water Authority, Erie County Water Authority, they all butt up on each other, and, and they do this constantly, because, you know, this is in my service area, but it's closer to your facilities, and it's basically a paper exchange. I mean, everybody gets served, it provides more potable water to more people. Did they say they would be doing something like that? Literally? Mm -hmm. Whoever you spoke to with the town? Jim Google, yes. Yeah. He, would, he, would, he would bring it to his town board, he would consider it, yes. You know, he obviously can't say yes, I'll do it. But he wants to see a proposal in writing. So, so the city of Kingston would bill that tenant for water usage? City of Kingston, yes. At your rate? Mm -hmm. At the rate? The whatever rate you set. Whatever rate you set. Whatever, whatever rate you want. Well, we have a certain rate. We have a tech city rate. We have a rate for them. Whatever it be. You know, you, $6 you and 47 that, cents a thousand. But you're reducing, you're going to count that as part of the 700000 we already selling totals. So if you're if you're selling, so we're reducing our seven hundred thousand by the total gallon that's going to not by the amount you're getting paid, but by the total gallon. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So if if you're applying, if you're sending them, you know, two hundred gallons a day, yeah. you know, it's about what it's going to be. Yeah, two hundred gallons a day is going to that business. So that means seven hundred thousand gallons that you're billing them. That's the same thing as taking off pieces of the contract. Yeah. No. I don't think so. What you're doing is you're giving them permission. <coughs> you're giving that tenant permission to draw water from that line. It's all part of the 700. Technically, it's still our water. It's still it's part of the still your water. Part of the 700,000 gallon that they were. But we're going to reduce the billing to. Yeah, we can't charge it twice. We can't, we can't charge the Tunnels or and Tech City. 
I know. So well, you, well, I know. The bolster is buying buying that same amount now. Anyway, get the reduced rate then. Rather than get, why? I, why don't, I mean, it's it's up to you, but but rather than deny, you know, Tech City outright, let me get back with them. Let me, you know, make a formal proposal to the town, and let's bring something back next month, so that we have actually something, you know, something in your hand to look at. Yeah, they have a schedule on this. When this is. Uh... They wanted it in September. They wanted it in September. Yeah, they, no, not really. I, and I'll talk to him about that tomorrow. And, I, and he needs to understand that, you know, we need we need some survey information. I mean, you know, a little description, something more than we got in a little area of photograph. At this point, I mean, this is just for our information. Yes, and let me let me work on it and bring us back something more solid and that we know exactly what the mechanics are. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yeah. All right. One thing before executive session mm -hmm. um, in the budget, um, in the 2015 budget, uh, is a proposal, is a money uh, put in there. Under in the distribution system for leak detection. Um, 12, I think it's 12. I think the actual quote's 11, 6, whatever. Um, I'd like to sign a contract with them and move forward um, as, as soon as possible in the spring. Uh, and we're going to do that in conjunction with the town. Uh, we both independently contract. The town's already done that at the town board meeting last week. This is our own equipment, or we're going to share it with them. We're, we're going to. This is a company that's going to come in and just do a survey for us. We're not buying any equipment. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just they're going to do 100 percent of this, our system and 100 percent of the town system. And the reason we're doing it together is we're, we get a better pricing that way. If instead of doing 100 miles that we have, they're mm -hmm. going to do 130 miles. Mm -hmm. But they're actually doing leak detection. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. What we'll get is every at the end of every day. I mean, we'll have to work with their with their folks at the end of every day. You know, they'll identify any, any major findings, um, so we can get right on them and, and you know start fixing them. And then at the end of end of each week, it take about three weeks to do our system and a week to do theirs. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll have the reports and then we'll be able to you know see with some of that reduce some you know. We can do the whole city in three weeks. Yeah, they're going to do them on Segway too. They have two guys on Segway. How many dollars a pipe yet? 100. Mm -hmm. Dental logs and computers are amazing things, yes. They're, they're, they're on sensors. They'll, they'll do it. They, they'll absolutely do it. I mean, obviously, they need our help to work Is with Is that going to show my service, too, if I have a leak in my service? Yes. In my yes. House? It won't pinpoint it, but yes, it'll tell you if the service is leaking, and then we need to get on the property owners to fix them, if, in fact, we find them. So that's going to be a lot of calls from the old ones. Like I don't know what they find was going to be a, I don't know. a substantial impact on our personnel, right? We run it all over town trying to fix these things. It's, well, I would think you're going to prioritize. You're going to prioritize. They'll prioritize them for us, and, and we'll work with them to do that. So you're right. You're not going to. If you find ten leaks, you're not going to fix them in ten days. You're going to. You're going to work through the whole series and work your way down. And that's one of the reasons we want. Why we want to do it in the spring. But we'd like to do it after the frost is out of the ground, so you know you don't have breaks due to freeze thaw, which is more of an issue for the town than it is for us. And we have that constant pressure gradient that really doesn't. We don't have. I don't even want to say we don't have the kind of leaks that they do. We don't have the kind of leaks that they do. Um, or at least we haven't found them. <laughs> um, and and we also want after the blacktop plane is open, so that we can actually repair the roads. You know, if you did if you did it now when the frost is still not in the ground. You'd be, you know, you'd have 20 holes out there all winter long. Mm. So. We'll pay for the premium black top you can use in the winter. That's right. And that's, we don't do that. We've done that a couple of times. On uh, the town of Kingston on Salt Hill Road, uh, New Year's Day, we had a huge curb to curb. And it was expensive going down to South Jersey to get that black top. But it had to be done because it's a major highway. So you need a motion to. Um, yes, I would like. I would. I would appreciate that. That way we can get on the schedule, and I don't want to have to hear them say, "Well, we're all booked up. We can't get there in August." So I'd like to do it right away. Motion to contract with Prowler Leak Detection 
uh, in the amount not to exceed twelve thousand dollars. The actual amount is eleven thousand six hundred and change. It's a dollar five cents a mile. No, it's, I'm sorry, 105. <laughs> I looked at a decimal point. It's okay. In my in my head, I saw it. And I just didn't pull it out. Okay. And if the town did that on their own, they'd pay like upwards of 140. Did they vote yet? No. no. <laughs> they haven't made it yet. It's a little bit. It's something else here. Okay. I'll make it real soon. I have one thing. The uh, meter order. Oh golly, I forgot to, about that. Uh, I mean, just, we discussed that. I'm so sorry. Which we anticipate we're going to get delivery tomorrow. Yes. And I would like to ask the board to yes. approve us paying that order uh, before the end of the year because it's in this year's budget. What we did, what we had fifty thousand dollars earmarked for meter replacement in the two thousand fourteen budget, mm -hmm. and um, Al brought it to my attention that the meter foreman has only expended eighteen eighteen thousand of that, and we're trying to you know improve the number of radio reads we have out there just to increase our efficiency. So the number should drop down this year. Well, we move it next year. We we drop it down next year because. Um, we had other priorities, and we figured, you know, we could put that money, reprogram that money. But we'd like to see it get back up there in subsequent budgets. But Al and I got some, we got the pricing, and, and all. Um, it just turned out that the uniform was on vacation. I ordered about twenty-six thousand dollars worth of meat. Yes. And we got the order in. As Al has been tracking it, it will be here. I mean, they pretty much assured us tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They're going to email him the invoice, mm -hmm. and would we have the authority? Would he have the authority to just? Pay that. Uh, it's in the budget. It's ordered, and it's in the budget. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll round us out to almost fifty thousand dollars, which and is what we Okay. Coming. The reason why I'm asking for approval is because ordinarily you wouldn't be approving that until the January meeting. He has oh, and I want to be able to pay it this year. Oh, he wants to take it out of this budget and not have to do prior period adjustments and all that kind of stuff. It's just easier yeah. on the accounting. Yeah. Okay. I'll make that motion. Okay. It just makes it much easier. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. One person signing off on this enough? Probably you. Or we need to, uh, we don't have to what will happen is it, we'll put it every Tuesday. We pay contractually obligated bills, central funds, and all that. We'll put it in with those, and then you guys will sign them at the next meeting, just yeah. like you do the ones you do. You'll still be presented with the bill. You, you'll still see it. You I just still want the bill to get it paid in, in, right. in 2014. Very good. Then I can actually get you the PO if you want to look at it. Jane's got it on. Yeah. Sorry about that. I, I, we talked about that, and I forgot. Okay. Sorry. Anything else? Not, not, no, not at all. Executive session. Okay. And then we have several personnel items we have to. Can you just, for the chair, can you state what you're going to the second session for? The only thing we come back for is the superintendent's report. We want to. Want to do it now? Sure. That would be great. It's up to you guys, aren't it? The yes, superintendent's report. Everybody read it. Yeah, we'll see about the issues. Okay. I have one. I have one question. Sure. You mentioned in your report about uh, gravel buildup. Oh, oh well, in the intake. The intake thing. Yep. Is there a, a long-term, is there a, some type of solution other than... No, it's a recurring maintenance we've always done. Okay. It, can, it's, can they put a screen upstream there a little bit? I, mean, I guess the question is, there a, no. there's no permanent solution other than doing general maintenance to clear no. that out. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, it's, it's something we've done... God, I've been here 34 years. I've been doing a lot longer than that. Ever yeah. since we've had an intake up there. And it's the nature of the substrate that, you know, mm -hmm. the gravel just runs downstream. And, mm -hmm. and we have a little impediment, impediment there that, 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 I mean, it's hard to call it a dam, but it is. It's about, you know. So what do you use? The, the trackle comes in and reaches out and cleans us up once in a while? Absolutely. And, and, I mean, it's all permitted through DEC. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it's a maintenance permit that we get from them. Um, we do it every 
five years or so. Mm -hmm. um, and we just, you know, we just take the rocks, the, the pea-sized gravel. And what do you think about the socks that you took cover there? What? You remember Joe Wood's issue with the sock that was like it was under the sock and he had a chuck of pipe and cement. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not prone to being arrested. Do these guys still do that though? Yeah. No, 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 you don't do that. You shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. You just don't throw <laughs> you just don't throw cement in the stream. I know, and you don't go you can't like this, you don't go And when the DEC shows up you say, get out of my no, you don't do that. No. Okay. No, that was a long time ago, but no. Okay, so there's no there's no real permanent solution to prevent that. You know, when we when we re when we redo the intake we did, um, we put in some rock veins to dissipate the energy, to have them deposit down there. May have helped, but now they're under the gravel. I mean, there's, at the same time we did that, uh, the town did some stabilization on the banks, which riled temporarily, you know, maybe dislodged some more things. And so I think it's stabilized now, and I think we'll see, you know, if we do it now, we'll see a lot more benefit, a lot longer term benefit. Um, so you're going to plan on doing that when? Well, you can't do it between November and May 1st. Okay, so it's next year. So it ha so yes, but it takes that long to get the permit sometimes. Okay. So Derek's starting on the well, permit. It's probably even better because with the snow melt in the spring and everything else, there's a likelihood of oh, more you want stuff to, coming you down. You don't anyway, want to do right? it until July or August. Right. You're going to get a permit that says, I mean, that's trap spawning time. You can't mm. do it between November 1st. Unless it was an emergency or May 1st, it's not a time we want to be in the street anyway. So we'll go in and take care of that. We've got the fish ladder there. Well, well, there is a fish ladder. I know, so I'm saying. We've got the fish ladder there now. I'll hire the taxi. This would have been cheaper. <laughs> and the stream's lower. Huh? The stream's lower. You also need to do it at a point when the stream is lower. I mean, you know. And then it wasn't the right one. <laughs> no, no, the DEC is. Yeah. But it, 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 <laughs> they didn't, we wanted to put in one that was going to be much more efficient, and they, they didn't know how to Here's figure mine. it out. They, they, didn't, they didn't know how to do the presentation. Uh, it was hard. We were going to go across diagonally up the face it of it. It was going to be a, a series of very neat baffle blocks. It was going to be a permanent mm -hmm. part of yeah. Yeah. And they And the guy from Fish and Wildlife looked at it and said, no, you, better get this, you better buy the Kleenex brand and put it in. Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever. Just bolted the decider to structure. Oh, yeah. it, was, it was, you know, but you, you come, you get to a point that's, where that's the easy way. Well, you can't, yeah. you, you can't pay your engineer to keep fighting with him because you're yeah. losing money. It costs your money yeah. to do it, oh, sure. and, and it's you're not going to win anyway. So you just say, okay, fine. This is what you want. This is what we'll do. We think we could do a better job, but it's okay. Yeah. Anything else, that's sure. Yeah, that's it. I'm not sure. Coming out of it, other than the German, or no, I do not believe so. Okay, I do not believe Is that good so. Enough? Yeah, okay. Thank uh, you. no, I don't anticipate any motions. Did you make a motion to go? Uh, I'll make a motion. I, I heard the motion in the second. Nobody voted on the second session. I'm sorry. All, all, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.